Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Last call for dinner. Last call for dinner. Everybody ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Remember, in my house, ready means hands washed, hair combed. Hair is combed. Hands is washed. Table set. Lights on. David, did you set the table? That's your job. Get off my lap. Since when? Since you're back on your feet, little mother. Did I hear something? No. Where are the salts and peppers, Mama? Oh, ho. Table isn't set. Oh, ho. It'll be set in a moment. Honestly, I can't depend on David for anything. Hardly. Am I being maligned? Oh, that's such a pretty word. Yes, you are being whatever it is. (laughs) Here, David, if you can stand the weight, take out the salts and peppers. Take them out to the ball game? Yes, (laughs) take them out to the dining room table. No funny business. No funny business, she says. Oh, how boring. Chirp, chirp. (laughs) Claudia, would you like a little salt? I would love a little salt. (laughs) Oh, I didn't know. I married a magpie. (laughs) David, you're so silly tonight. Get out of my way, you two. I thought you said dinner was ready, Mrs. Brown. I know better than to have dinner ready when I say it's ready. And what does that mean? It won't be ready for another 15 minutes. Oh! That's the only sure way I have of having you and the table ready at the same time. David, we have been hoodwinked. Hoodwinked? We'll have to get even with her. Grandma, are you treating us with psychology? Heaven for the bit. same price. Now, shoo out of here. Mama has a glint in her eye, darling. We'd better leave her to her boiling cauldrons. Mama, do you want to go back to your boiling cauldrons? I do. Oh, can't we help? Certainly you can. How? By staying out of the kitchen. Say, Mama, Mama, what are we having for dinner? Ham, baked ham. Baked ham? Mm. <gasps> well, I'll, uh, I'll have to go into the kitchen and supervise And I'll that. have to help you. Now, what can I taste with my finger, Mama? Your finger? Mm. Oh, what a household. (laughs) Somehow I don't think we're wanted in the kitchen, David. Mm, I can't understand it, Claudia. She called us to come. I heard it. She did that? I heard it. Now she's changed her mind about it. Mm -mm. I feel like an orphan in a storm. Oh, you would only get out into the storm. Oh, she means business. I'm certainly glad Mama didn't treat me like that when I was young. I would have gotten maladjusted. Well, it's never too late, darling, if you set your mind to it. No. (laughs) Safe on that score. Here, don't forget the salts and peppers. All right, now let's work this out. You uh, take the salt, Claudia. Yes, it's not too hard. And I, I will take the pepper. We are Boyden, Boyden down. We are beasts of Boyden. Come on, beast. (laughs) We'll leave Mama alone. Reluctantly, reluctantly, I go. Why this should have happened to me, I'll never know. There. There is the pepper. And there is the salt. Oh, that was a hard job. Well, table set. Now what do we do? Back into the kitchen. Don't dare. Then I'll read the evening paper. Oh, no, there's not time for that. It's only ten more minutes till dinner. I know. What? Let's talk. No, 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 not that. Oh, yes, please. No. Something you could do. Mama is an eavesdropper. <laughs> what a loud noise for an eve. <laughs> and she just dropped it. Mama, can we help you pick up the pieces of your eaves? Of my what? Very slow, your mother. Oh, born that way, she can't help it. If you step across this threshold, I'll parboil you and sprinkle you with parsley. Oh, you'd be so good. Now, stay out of here. <laughs> I do want to be helpful. David can fix the latch on the front door. Uh, I don't believe it's broken, Mama. I think it's just a decoy. Isn't dinner ever going to be ready? What's the matter with the latch, Mama? The door squeaks. Uh-oh. On. On to the latch. Oh, that latch, it never works. Oh, I hate to be a door. What a dull life. Open and closed. Open and closed. Mm, well, you ought to know how that is. Well, ignore that. Squeak's all right. Squeak now and then is nice. It uh, has character. Well, what about the latch? Mm. Is it broken? Mm, well. What's the matter with it? I don't think you really know. Of course I know. It's it's not working. You are brilliant. Nurse, nurse, get me the scalpel. Yes, doctor. And the forceps. Yes, doctor. And the retractor. Yes, doctor. Nurse. Yes. Oh. We are going to operate. Operate? Mm. 
Will the latch live? Who knows? Who knows? Mama, David wants the scalpel, the forceps, and the retractors. David wants what? The doctor is going to operate on the latch. Just pass me the instruments. You two are worse than children. We are? <laughs> Much worse. You're bigger. Mama, give me the instrument box. It's on the shelf behind I the... I know where the tool box is. I'll put it there. Uh, here we are. Now, get out of here. Good thing I don't believe a word you say, or I'd feel positively unwanted. How's the hand coming? If you don't stop nagging it, it'll have a nervous breakdown. I wouldn't have such a temperamental ham in my house. David, hear the instruments. David? David, where are you? Here I am. Well, where is here? I'm out in the hall. Well, that's a fine place to be. Come on in. I can't get in. Just open the door, Richard. Well, the door won't open, Richard. You mean you're locked out? Claudia, Claudia, open the door. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My hands are full of... Things. Now, David. Hey, take your hand off the doorknob. I can't turn it. My hands aren't on the doorknob. I don't believe you. Well, look through the keyhole. I am. Oh, what a great big eye you have, Grandma. <laughs> hello. Open the door, little red riding hood. I said hello. <laughs> My, you look funny with just one eye. What do you see of me? I see a blinking eye. Oh, you open the door. I can't. The knob is stuck. You're going to have to spend the rest of the night out in the hall. I don't believe that the knob is stuck. <laughs> we'll have to feed you through the door hole. If you don't let me in. Tell me what to do, darling. Oh, uh, do you have a screw screwdriver? Let me see. Now, wait a minute. Yes, I have it. See if you can, see if you can wiggle it into the keyhole. Get your eye out of the way. <laughs> now, let's see. Now what? Now, now see if you can feel the little cat. Hmm. I don't feel anything. Why? Why did I have to marry so unmechanical a woman? Every time you start fixing something, it unfixes and we get in a pretty fix. Oh, I'm just killing me. <laughs> and me too. I'm not going to spend all night out here. You may have to. David, you know I don't think you're mechanical either. Dinner's almost ready. Hold everything, Mama. We've lost David. Tell your mother to cook some spaghetti. We'll be able to manage that through the keyhole. That's an idea. Mama. Claudia. Yeah? Claudia, listen to me. You see that little button up on the ladder? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes? Now maybe it's what's stuck. Yes? Now see if you can hammer it back into place. Then you might be able yes, to... Yes, I get you. I get you now. And you'll have to knock the door down. Take it easy. I don't know my own strength. David, there it is. I've got it. Now, now turn the latch. Hmm. It's turning. Welcome home. <laughs> it has been a long and difficult journey. It's good to see you back. Oh, you look exhausted. <laughs> Welcome again. <laughs> you said you'd give me something if I let you back into the house. Yes, I did. Turn around. Oh, no, 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 not that. No, Just wait David, till I get my you hands me. on you. Help, Mama, help. David's jealous. I'm a mechanical genius. I fixed the latch. She help. fixed the latch. Huh. She practically broke down the door. Is dinner almost ready yet? Another five minutes. Five minutes? I think I'll get locked out again. I'll help you. No, thanks. Fun. <laughs> now, Mama, is there anything else that you would want me to fix around the house while I'm waiting? I wouldn't let you touch anything. I want toast with my dinner. You can't have it. Why not? Because the toaster doesn't work right. Ah, uh ah, -huh, uh, I thought so. And what is the matter with the toaster? Get that look out of your eye. David, you're not to touch it. The little thingamajig jumps when you pull that jigger. You don't say? Yes. Is that I all that's wrong? You never get these popovers done if you don't get out of here. David, push down the jigger. Give me a piece of bread. Let's see what's the matter with this. What one. kind? Whole wheat, rye, white bread? Give me a heel, any heel. All right, here's a heel, heel. No. Down it goes. Down it goes. Hmm, it's working fine. Hmm. Doesn't look as if there's anything the matter with it, does it? No. I think every toaster should be dropped on its head every so often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Toaster threw the bread out. Yes. It Ooh. flew through the air with the greatest of ease. It fell into the batter. For batter or for worse. The bread knows on which side it is battered. Look at it swimming around. To the rescue. Wait till I David, take off my coat. David, don't you dare put your hand on it. Oh, David. Ah, 
Did you want it to drown, Mother? Look at my kitchen. Freckled with batter. <laughs> now get out of here, both of you. Get. Now, Mama, can't I even fix the toaster? You can't fix anything. Is a fixer up or you're a flop? Do you hear how your daughter talks to me, Mrs. Uh, Brown? I hear. Now into the dining room, you two. I'm bringing out the hand. At last. Oh, it seems to me dinner was ready 15 minutes ago. Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Stunning. Smell it. Bad, if I say so myself. I'm starving. Quick, let's sit down. Well, the family is finally gathered at the supper table. Uh, won't you sit down here, Mrs. Brown? Mm-hmm. There you are. Thank you. Oh, it's nice being us, isn't it? Smug. I am smug and proud of it. I don't see why. You didn't have anything to do with the ham. I'm smug about lots of other things. We have a house in the country, house in New York. And now you're calling my apartment yours. I am. Broken lap, squeaky door, nervous toaster, all ours. And Mrs. Brown, we hope, we sincerely hope that you will call our house your home too, Mom. Thank you, David. Oh, I yes. do. A house in the country and an apartment in New York. Mama, you, the baby... Some people might be fools enough to want more than this, but as far as I'm concerned, it's everything. Don't you ever let me forget it, David. Hmm. No chance of that, darling. One moment you're so silly, and the next moment you're oh so serious. That's me charm. Your charm? Seriously, though, everything is perfect, isn't it? It is? It is. It certainly is. Uh, congratulations, Claudia. Congratulations, Claudia. Thank you, David. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, God. These are good sandwich and salad days. Know what goes good with sandwiches and salads? You've guessed it. Ice-cold Coca-Cola. A bottle that's beaded with frosty pearls. A bottle that helps you enjoy the pause that refreshes. Treat yourself, lady. You deserve it. Make lunchtime refreshment time by including delicious Coke this very noontime. Mr. King, have you had dinner yet? Just on my way, Mrs. Brown. Sure you won't drop in for a bit with us? I'm sure I'd uh, better get on home. Thank you anyway. Not at all. Uh, Mrs. Brown, before you leave, tell me, how's the baby? Oh, Bobby, he's very fine. Knock wood. He's quite, quite a presentable little rascal now. Good, good, because tomorrow night he's going to be presented. Presented to Roger Killian. Oh, my. Oh, I hope he behaves. The baby, I mean. (laughs) The baby, of course. Well, you'll see. You'll see. And by the way, be sure you're around, because David and Roger get into a pretty good discussion about the baby's education. See you then, Mrs. Brown. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed... With the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes... And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.